Hey guys, Justin Stone here with EliteBaseball.tv. Thanksgiving time. And did I tell you what? I'm going to tell you what I'm thankful for today. As baseball coaches all the time, players come to us because we're the authoritative voice that they're dealing with for that season, or maybe you're a private instructor, maybe just a dad helping out your son and trying to get him play, play the game better. When we are that authoritative voice, oftentimes we can forget about growing ourselves. And everybody needs people around them that will challenge them to grow. And that's what I'm thankful for this year. My own instructors in our academy, you've heard me say a number of times, you probably know this if you follow us, that we have a great deal of technology on our hands. And we're doing a lot of innovative things that are putting our stamp on the game of baseball. But that isn't done just with me. That's done with a lot of collaboration with really smart people. And those smart people need to challenge you because that's your opportunity to grow. You always say, you hear people say to, that if you don't want to be the smartest person in the room, and if you are, you're not in a position of growth. You need to fire yourself. So I try to surround myself with a lot of other voices, some of which I don't agree with all the time. But it's been great for us this offseason to have a number of professional players, professional coaches, college coaches coming to the building because they want to learn themselves. And that's a great growth mindset. That's where we need to be if we're going to continue to grow the game. Another thing that's interesting to me on that same subject, the amount of hitting coach jobs that are open in professional baseball, probably greater this year than it's ever been before. And sometimes when I hear about what prospective coaches are interviewing for and the questions that they are asked, it's really surprising to me. It's a lot less on what their playing background was, what their, even their philosophy is. It's a lot about how they've learned, what tech that they are using, how do they use modern day analytics to help build better hitters, what do they understand about movement screens, um, how they assess players individually within their own hitting philosophy. So what you're seeing here today is the hitting coach has really changed. And the guys that are being hired to move on to the higher level jobs today have to check a lot of boxes. They have to study. They have to continue their education. The only way that is done, yeah, you can study on your own. You can read something in the book. But if you're not collaborating with others and having those conversations that you feed off with one another, you're going to have the growth process stall on you. So that's what I'm thankful for this year, and that's what I challenge you to do as well. Ask questions. Go find somebody that knows something that potentially you don't. Or just take them out for dinner and have a conversation. Because that conversation is going to lead you to more ideas that allow you to maybe find something that you hadn't thought about that you now you want to study. And that's the growth mindset that we have. So that's what I'm thankful for this year. I hope you guys have a good holiday as we enter the holiday season. And until next time, this is Justin Stone, and I'll see you on the field.